In part 3 of the Working with Excel tutorial, I will show you how to open Excel files directly in Origin. At times it may be desirable to keep the data in an external XLS file, but simply open the file inside Origin as an Excel window and then work with the data. To do this, select File, Open Excel. I'm going to select one of our sample Excel files. When you open Excel files as an Excel workbook in Origin, an OLE instance of Microsoft Excel is launched. You can plot directly using Excel workbook data, but many analysis features as well as 3D plotting are inaccessible. When the Excel window is active, the Origin main menu has different entries. some of which are specific to Excel. The plot menu is Origins menu, but you also have access to Excel toolbars. I'm going to highlight a range of Excel data. Right-click and choose Format Cells. And in the dialog that opens, make sure that the data is date format. I'm now going to select Origins Plot menu and choose Multi-Curve Double Y. A Select Data for Plotting dialog opens. My current Excel worksheet selection is going to be my X data. I then want B3 through B26 as my Y data. If I wish to plot multiple columns, I can change this selection by Shift Select and then reassign that as my Y. Now with multiple columns, I can change the plot into from single layer to multiple layers. When I click Plot, I'm going to get my double Y plot. The dialog stays open allowing me to add new data to this existing graph. But I'm all set with the graph, so I'm going to click Close. By default, Origin displays the tick labels for time on the x-axis in the month, date, year format. If I double-click on the x-axis, which will open the x-axis dialog, on the Scale tab, I can change the From and To values to start on January 1st and end on January 1st of 2000. On the Tick Labels tab, I can change the display to Year Only. We end up with a graph with two separate legends. We can actually combine them by right-clicking on this legend and going to Properties. In the dialog that opens, we can specify the symbol and the text that's displayed to come from first layer, first data plot in that layer. Again, first layer, layer 1, first data plot. We can then copy this. and we can say second layer first data plot. There's only one data plot in each layer. And now we have a combined legend and I can go ahead and just delete this one here. This concludes part three of the Working with Excel tutorial. Thank you for watching.